This is video from Russian ground stations. The SSVK mode has been performed. The hooks are open. The latches are open. Moscow, do you hear us? Yes, we have you loud and clear. We see a smooth and steady movement. Yes, uh, we are receiving the TV picture as well, and we are watching as well. The Soyuz spacecraft backing away from the station right on time at 3.38 p.m. Central Time. The, the two spacecraft are currently orbiting above Eastern Asia at an altitude of about 212 statute miles. Bedus 1-1, Bedus one, one. we activate that, right? No, don't at this time. Okay, we won't. Docking on time at 3.28 p.m. Central Time, the Soyuz spacecraft backing away. About two minutes, Soyuz Commander Valery Tokarev will perform a very subtle separation burn for eight seconds at a rate of 0.3 meters a second or 0.98 feet per second that will start the Soyuz moving farther away from the International Space Station. Thirty-one minutes. We are getting very uh, high noise. Everything is fine. We read you loud and clear. We can see the station uh, in the crosshairs, although we, we can't see the docking mechanism. Uh, yet. We just see the shape of the station. We don't see the size, the relative size. We're going to be uh, sending, issuing T-17 based on the specified time. At 23.31, you can proceed. 32 seconds, 31, issuing at 23.31, we have issued D-17, we see separation, everything is nominal, we are ready to deactivate the SSVP by uh, command D-8, issuing D-8. This view from the International Space Station showing the Soyuz spacecraft backing away from the complex with the Expedition 12 and Brazilian astronaut crew inside. Uh, hooks, uh, all of the indications are off, including uh, probe retracted, and the next command will not be issued because D-13 was issued. Is that correct? There's deactivate pressurization A-4. Okay. Issuing A4. Go ahead. That's good. ODR is not being issued at this time. Uh, spherical bottle number one is no change. The second one is 175. And propellant is... At 23.52.00, uh, you have the next accelerometer activation, and you have to activate it at the specified time. Accelerometer, that's fine. 
Pat Patrick Pat Patrick Pat Patrick Pat Okay, in, a, in about 20. Understand. Just a reminder to uh, take water and salt supplements. And please note, uh, on the propellant um, uh, display, and also note the pressure, it's 738 millimeters mercury. Understand. 738. 738. Since we haven't issued ODR, uh, we need to uh, look at the display issuing uh, G4. And issuing T2 to deactivate the headset. Issue M17 to activate TV root. Okay, M17 will be issued. M17. M17. TV root. Issued. Triple zeros in the display. Copy. Excellent. And it's zero zero fifty. You can go ahead and issue uh, G4. Issuing G4. We have issued G4. Uh, shall we deactivate in pool? No, 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 not at the moment. It's more convenient not to. You can uh, release the transmit button. Okay. Uh, that's it. We're going to be uh, talking in the push-to-talk mode. And uh, f by the next compass, please do the prep for descent. And uh, we'll be activating the descent timeline using the command radio link. Copy command radio link. Rasveti, how is the temperature? Is there an improvement of some sort? No? It's still the same. The th thing is that the problem is in the sensor because it's uh, reading less than 14 degrees and it's controlling uh, the uh, automatic thermal control accordingly. Uh, so it's warm. Yeah, and it's not getting any cooler. Copy.